what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I will be installing and showcasing the PS3 Nintendo 64 emulator Wii 64 now this emulator was released a couple days it's still in beta form so keep that in mind that the emulator is still in beta form none of the games will work a hundred percent they will all look really terrible terrible sounds and everything terrible graphics so give it time for the emulator to improve over time all right so keep that in mind also this will work on every single hack ps3 so cfw yes ps3n yes but like i said give it time for the emulator to improve some more all right so over here at psx place um you guys can read through these up here it says the nintendo um, N64 emulator by one of the dev um, Emu Kid did. Okay, so after nine years, guys, we're finally getting the Nintendo 64 emulator on the PS3. Um, yeah, so shout out to all the dev that work on the emulator. All right, so here we have like features and stuff. As you all can read, it says no audio, no audio accelerated graphics. So the graphics will look terrible. Like I said, the audios. The audio will sound really crappy as well okay so here we have the download link if you click on it it should take you to this github website and you want to download the one right here the top one like i said it's still in beta form so keep that in mind so once you download the top one here go ahead and locate it on your computer here I have it downloaded on my computer go ahead and um, you want to extract here once you extract it you will get these two files right here here I also have my ROMs in this folder so go ahead right click and create a new folder and call this one we 64 that's it drag these two files and drag it and drop it in the we 64 folder so this is it right there now go ahead and grab your rom folders here's my roms go ahead and grab the folder and drop it in this folder here so it should look like that let me go back out and show you so we 64 these two files here plus the rom right there all right so go out and you want to copy the entire folder and paste it on your usb stick Make sure you paste it on the root of your USB stick, FAT32. Alright, so once it's pasted on your USB stick, go ahead and eject your USB stick and let's head over to the PS3. Okay, so now we're on the PS3, go ahead and log into your user. Like I said, this will work on all PS3, so CFW and PS3N, it will definitely work. Again, it's in beta form, so give it time for the, the application to improve some more, okay? So go ahead and launch your Multiman. Okay, so when you're in Multiman, on the part where it says refresh, you can hit triangle, then go to file manager. Or you can go all the way over here where it shows file manager right here but either way go ahead and enter file manager when you're on this page right here go to the ps3 root go to your usb right here dev underscore usb zero zero it doesn't matter if it's port number two or port number one it will work just the same and you will need to keep the usb plugged in at all times when you when you're using this okay so go inside your usb stick here you will find the Wii 64 folder go inside that here you will find your ROMs folder and these two other um, files so make sure you click on the one right here with the gold star so it says PS3 64 SELF right here so click on it all right so you will get this page if you have done everything correctly which is pretty easy so go down to settings press X and right where it says general you want to go down to pure enter press x so make sure that this one is selected green press circle now go ahead and choose the top option to load your rom 
here you can see the ROMs that I have on my USB stick so go ahead and launch whatever game you want to test out once you press X you will get this loading screen so wait until the ROM is loaded into the RAM alright once that's done you're gonna see this message um, loaded Donkey Kong 64 press OK over on the left hand side it shows what game is loaded go down to where it says play game and press X you can also go to settings and go over to um, input here and you can change up the button layout okay so press circle press circle again go back out and go down to where it says play game press X give it time for it to load and there you go guys oh. so yeah and there you go so like I said it's not working a hundred percent still in beta format so give it time for it to improve some more okay so guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time